More insights into Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. We're now joined by Dr. Joanna Lei, a former legislator in Taiwan's Kuomintang Party. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Lei. Well, earlier this year, U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said it was important to show our support to Taiwan. And she mentioned again of supporting Taiwan this time. What kind of support is Taiwan getting from this visit or from her? You should read her visit as an act in a very long playbook. This is a very long playbook with many, many acts, one to follow another. Her opening speech in the legislative event this morning said that she has brought a very broad-based support from the U.S. Congress to Taiwan. Therefore, she was hinting that there were a lot of things to come. And also, she mentioned that her role worldwide is on democracy, freedom, and governance. And I think that preluded a lot of requests in terms of how Taiwan should move forward, but also will use that to wedge the relationship between Taiwan, mainland China, and United States and mainland China, because there are certainly a lot of things that they could accuse mainland China should they decide. The last thing that's important is uh, she has also made a public uh, opinion page in a major U.S. paper indicating that they are here to not only support Taiwan but also to spread the U.S. value, the American value worldwide. And one thing that they have talked about was to grant Taiwan non-NATO ally status. If that were indeed true and if that were indeed carried out, then I see the cross-strait relations and also regional peace and stability going into a turmoil. It will be a very, very big stone throw into the region. It's like a 500-pound gorilla weighing onto our regional peace and stability. And at the same time, they would definitely accuse mainland China as being the aggressor or the challenger of regional peace and stability. About this uh, gorilla, the impact actually, uh, what impact does this event really have on Taiwan economically and militarily? Dr. Lei, so what impact... Yes, it was broken up. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you just now. Okay, is it okay right now? Yes. Okay, great, great. About the gorilla you just mentioned, uh, actually, uh, you're referring it to the impact that uh, this visit will have on Taiwan. So what impact exactly do you think this visit will have on Taiwan economically and militarily? Pelosi is a queen's gambit is offered like in a chess game as an opening from mainland China or for mainland China. United States have dealt a first hand, offering Pelosi as Queen's Gambit and asking mainland China to react. So if mainland China react militarily, then it will be accused as the aggressor. If it doesn't, it will be touted as all talk and no action in the Chinese word will be a paper tiger. So I think the immediate observation is focusing on military. However, there will be huge consequences going forward if we should look at a change or an about-face change of cross-strait relations. Then Taiwan as a relatively small economy, as a small island, there will be a lot of repercussions. Namely, in terms of uh, our economic survival, our financial stability, and also the livelihood of everyday people will all be challenged due to this act. For a very small case would be, if mainland China started a military exercises all around Taiwan as it's proposed tomorrow, then will all of Taiwan's national defense forces ready to face this kind of combat? Will that change the overall atmosphere of people in this time on the island are all question marks. So when the United States dealt Nancy Pelosi to mainland China, what will happen is Taiwan will be receiving the short end of the stick. Mm -hmm. All of the potential confrontation between the two giants will focus on Taiwan and we are definitely in the collision path. So more uncertainties are being added added to this uncertain world already. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Joanna Lei, former legislator in Taiwan's Kuomintang Party. Thank you very much for joining us.